Hey, hey, developers. Today, we're going to talk about a really cool brand new Udemy course called Advanced JavaScript Concepts by Andre Niogi. It's a really, really cool course. I want to tell you guys all about it, so make sure you stay all the way to the end. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in Action book. And by the way, the link for this course and everything else will be in the description below. If you click on it and you end up buying it, I actually get a few bucks. So I just want to get that out of the way. So I saw this course on the Udemy uh, website just the other day, and I thought I would go ahead and just download it and uh, give it a shot to see how it is. And I just found out it looks like they are brand new. So this one just came out about 12 days ago. So maybe a couple of weeks ago as the time of the, this recording comes out. And I have looked through a lot of JavaScript courses, a lot of JavaScript Udemy courses, and I'll have to say this is one of the better ones I've seen, maybe one of the best. And the reason I say that is it's just really in depth. It's over 24 hours of content. Um, he has already 3,000 students. You can see it's already gained, gained a lot of momentum. It's, he, says, he, he says it's unlike any course you'll find online and that uh, you'll be in the top 10% of JavaScript programmers by the end of the course. And by joining the course, you also get free access to one of the largest online communities and classrooms for full stack developers. So they have, it uh, looks like a, like a Discord server that you can join. Um, which is great. There's a lot of great communities out there, but that's cool that they he has that offered in there as well. And you can see, uh, I haven't heard of Andre, but it looks like he has tons of accolades. He's worked with a lot of big tech companies like Apple, Google, Amazon, big believer in education, which is cool because he always wants someone teaching the course that uh, loves to teach and definitely is. Um, also, n no accents or anything like that. So sometimes you get some of these courses and you get an accident accent and some people don't necessarily like that if you're an American. Maybe it's not a big deal, but there isn't any. So let's take a look at the course content that we're, that uh, Andre has here. So uh, as always, it's broken up in different se sections and he emphasizes right at the beginning that you should do it in order. So when you go through this course, it really one section builds upon the, the next. So for example, the introduction, he just talks to you about the, in, the course. He also Tells you where you can join the online classroom. That's the, the community server he has. And then he goes through the JavaScript foundation. A lot of this stuff at the beginning, if you're new, if, you, if you've done anything with JavaScript, this is all going to be pretty easy stuff. The foundation stuff actually talks a little bit about like, like the V8 Chrome engine, like how JavaScript engines work, which is obviously actually not something I knew a ton about, which was interesting watching these videos. I kind of skimmed through some of them. Uh, like how to write optimized code, how Babel and TypeScript work, like memory heap stack, almost kind of computer science type stuff, how garbage collection works, how memory leaks work, you know, stuff you would have gotten in like a beginning CS class too would have probably taught you some of these things. What a call stack is, like how, how does a heap work? I think he has uh, some information on that too. And then he goes definitely digs right into the foundations of JavaScript. So what, what's a lexical environment, the execution context, hoisting. Um, you actually, some of these topics are like interview questions you'll get for JavaScript developer positions. You know, he might get like, what is hoisting or, or uh, what's a function invocation? What is an IIFE? What is scope chains? So this is really good, a really good review if you're going into a interview as well, especially these first few beginner sections. I guess they're not really beginner. This is definitely more advanced, but it feels like it's beginner because it gets into much more advanced topics later on. I think the call, apply, and bind, people still ask those questions. I think some of these things too, like it's good to know, but in your day-to-day -day work, especially if you're working with a framework, you're probably never going to be using binds or calls or applies, but it's it's good to know what they are. And then goes, what what are types in JavaScript? And so, you know, it's he talks about the seven different types, and then he talks about um, dynamic typing versus static typing, type coercion. And then he goes into the section five, which is the two pil pillars, closures and pro 
prototypal inheritance. So really, these the next sections five, six, seven are are really closely knit together because you're going to look at closures and prototype um, prototypal inheritance, and then OOP object oriented programming, and then functional programming. Knowing these three right here is so good to know, especially if you're if you want to level up your your JavaScript skills and understanding all of this and how it works is is really important. I think this is kind of the heart of the the whole the whole cl the course at this point is to learn these three this these three sections. And I'm really glad that when he goes into closures too, there's literally like five sections on closures and and it, and there's a couple of exercises too. So it, it really I mean, closure is a simple concept once you get to understand it, but to understand what you can do with it is really important. And then how OOP works with object-oriented programming, and he starts off with like factory functions, and then he even talks about ES6 classes, which another nice thing is I've seen a lot of older or other JavaScript courses on here, and they don't even touch ES6 at all, or it's an afterthought. Um, this whole course has it throughout, so you're not going to see a whole lot of um, he's using a lot of uh, arrow functions, uh, um, things that make sense to make the course uh, work better. And then, you know, this inheritance, public versus private. He even mentions React.js in one of the sections, uh, the four pillars of OOP. And then functional programming, which uh, is is a paradigm that I think is is gaining more and more momentum, depends on what company you work for and, and what frameworks or whatever you're using, but kind of the idea of, of mutations and when not to do mutations and how to write good, clean functions. I think this is is a, a very good style of, of working with, with oops, with um, to write on your programs. So pure functions, uh, can everything be pure immutability? Curing, which I think these are great sections. That might be also an interview question you might get one day. Uh, memoization, that, that's another great interview question that you could get. Compose and pipe, he like talks about how he had to function, whereas one's like multiply by three and then have an absolute value and how you can kind of take multiple functions and then kind of put them all together to create something special and compose them together, which is pretty neat. Arity, and then he has exercises throughout all the whole course. And then he has a comparison of like OOP versus functional programming and composition versus inheritance. And then uh, the, the last few sections are kind of interesting. Like they go into deep diving into asynchronous JavaScript. It's kind of a mishmash of things like ES8 async await, some ES9 stuff. Um, parallel sequence and race, so kind of stuff that that's coming out and that's a little bit more in the future. But threads, concurrencies, and parallelism. And he even has a section on modules, which I didn't go through, but uh, I'm definitely going to be looking at at that later. This is really good to know between Common JS, AMD, and UMD. Once you start working with lots of different libraries, you'll notice different ways people handle different module imports and how to just get that into your programs different module patterns, ES6 modules, which I don't think is talked about a lot. Air handling is also one of those, the ones you, you barely ever see in courses, and he covers it, like the try-catch, errors in JavaScript, async error handling, extending errors. And then he has uh, a few bonus sections at the end where he's like, if you don't know anything about JavaScript, take you know look at these sections first. So you guys, the JavaScript basics, like variables and controls, functions, and then he has intermediate intermediate JavaScript. So he goes through like ES5, ES6, and then he even talks about ES6 or ES7, ES8, debugging and modules. And he even has a bonus section on coupon codes. So really this course could be great for anyone, even if you are a beginner, you could just go down to the appendix and start at the JavaScript basics and then go to the intermediate and then start back at section one if you really wanted to. I don't know, um, there might be better like pure basic JavaScript courses out there. I can't remember any off the top of my head, uh, but I would say this this overall, this is an excellent course, especially for intermediate to advanced JavaScript. It covers 
almost everything I would expect, and it goes into really deep dives into it. I mean, by the way, most of the ones, most of the examples, he does it in like in a code editor, but he also has a bunch of graphics. So he ha he actually shows you in the graphics how things work. Um, and it's a brand new course, and he's been updating it. You can see from the announcements, he's already talking about um, new coding challenges and updates he did about 14 days ago, and um, how he's just putting more and more stuff together, which is really awesome. So it's being updated. I, I would highly recommend this. Right now, Udemy's having a sale, which you can get this for like 13 bucks, I believe. So I would highly recommend. Just make sure you click on the link below and pick it up. So if you do pick it up, let me know in the comments below how you like it. Um, I think leveling up your JavaScript is always a great idea to get a little bit better as it'll make you a better programmer. And I, I, would, uh, I would highly recommend this course. Thanks, guys. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.